ओके बच्चों गुड मॉर्निंग सो टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग फ्यू टिप्स फॉर सॉल्विंग फेजर डायग्राम इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड नो द इक्वेशन ऑफ एस एच एम दैट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग पार्टिकल इज परफॉर्मिंग यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन नो डाउट इट इज पेरियोडिक बट इट इज नॉट ऑसिलेटरी सो यू कैन नॉट से दैट पार्टिकल इज परफॉर्मिंग एस एच एम एक्चुअली इट्स प्रोजेक्शन on x x dash axis or y y dash axis that is performing simple harmonic motion tip number 1 before solving the numericals you must be very well aware with the trigonometric ratios so let's discuss tip number 1 sin 90 plus cos 90 plus theta sin 90 minus theta and cos 90 minus theta these four are most frequently used trigonometric ratios and if you see carefully there will be change if i am writing sin 90 plus or cos 90 plus they are changing to their cos or respective sines similarly there will be change in sin 270 plus theta cos 270 plus theta to respective changes to their sin and cos there will be no change in the trigonometric ratios if we are having 180 and 360 Let's see the tip number two. So here is the tip number two for sine one eighty minus theta. See there is no change in trigonometric ratio. That is sine sine theta, sine one eighty plus theta minus sine theta, cos one eighty minus theta, sin, cos theta. So here is the no change. But for two seventy there will be change in the ratio. And now the tip number three. Tip number three. If you see sine. If angle is lying in fourth quadrant, sine 360 plus theta, uh, ratio is remaining same. Sine cos 360 plus theta, cos theta. So these tip number one, two, three should be very clear to you guys before solving the numerical. It is must. Tip number four. If we divide your um, graph in four quadrants then first quadrant all trigonometric ratios will be positive in second quadrant sin is positive in third tangent will be positive and in fourth cos will be positive let's start doing the numericals so here we go with the first question in question they are asking you particle is moving in this clockwise direction and you have to find the shm for this particular condition time period for this particle they have given you 10 second and amplitude is given is 2 cm and they are asking to calculate x see sabse pehle number 1 trick aapko yahi assume karna in every numerical your particle is starting from y axis from this point okay and second x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi not here when particle starting from t is equal to 0 there was no initial angle so phi not will be 0 x is equal to a a's amplitude 2 sin omega omega is 2 pi by t time period here is 10 into t so the final answer will be 2 sin pi by 5 into t it's that simple let's come to the second numerical So here is a second numerical, and if you could see in the second numerical, they are telling that particle is starting from x-axis, and it has reached up to this point, and they are asking you to calculate displacement at this particular point. So guys, as I told you, first trick always feel your particle is starting from here. Okay, so how much away it is from here? It is ninety degree plus. theta theta we will take here omega t x is equal to a sin 90 plus omega t rest you put the values a is 2 sin 90 can be written as pi by 2 omega is 2 pi by time period time period here is 4 so this sin 90 plus theta sin 90 plus theta is cos theta so the final answer is 2 cos pi by 2 okay the next numerical here is particle it is initially was at this point and it is moving in this direction like it is anti clockwise direction now what should we do time period here is given 4 and amplitude given here is p we have to write x x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi not 
here in this question if you see carefully when particle started its journey from x axis it was initially having some epoch 45 degree means pi by 4 so for phi not we are going to write pi by 4 here but if you see carefully we are assuming our particle always from here right means ye particle pi by 2 se abhi kitna pi by 2 se abhi ye kitna duri par hai pi by 2 se abhi kitni duri par hai so what we are going to write here a sin pi by 2 minus right theta plus pi by 4 so your this theta which is omega t this will become a new theta so what your trigonometric ratio says x is equal to a sin pi by 2 minus theta that is cos theta right so answer to this question will be a uh, sorry cos pi by 4 plus omega t and what is omega here is 2 pi by time period that is 4 into t so the final answer will be a cos pi by 2 t plus pi by 4 let's do one more numerical on it let's do the next numerical and numerical here is particle is starting its uh, journey from t is equal to 0 here as i told you always assume your particle is sometime it was at y axis now as the particle t is equal to 0 it was here and after time t it is here so how much distance it is away from your this initial point so this is 90 plus 90 plus 90 270 but ye to wapas aa raha hai kitna angle ye wapas aa raha hai theta so hame abhi kya karna hai ki ye kitna dur hai y axis hai that is 270 minus theta so here theta is omega t omega here is 2 by by time period that is 10 so pi by 5 so a is 4 sin 270 minus pi by 5t sin 270 your particle is lying in third quadrant in third quadrant only tangent is positive rest ratios are negative so here we will have minus sign and other important thing for 270 there is change in ratio so we will write it cos and rest pi by 5 into t okay it is simple let's do the next numerical 